this week we've got something pretty exciting in the workshop. We're doing a DC cable run on a brand new limited edition Bram, and we're also fitting an absolutely massive power system to their Jayco Silverline, as well as an automatic satellite dish. I'll show you guys exactly what we've done. This is the tow vehicle for the Jayco Silverline we're working on. Basically, we need to run a new cable from the starter battery to the back. They've already got a cable run, but it's just too small. They've only used six millimeter squared. So we're gonna be using our 13 and a half millimeter. Um, we'll run that through a 100 amp MIDI fuse, through a 100 amp OEX relay that's ignition triggered, so it'll only work when the key's on. We've got an ignition tap there through a 10 amp fuse. We've checked that with the multimeter to make sure it turns on when the key comes on. So that'll send power to the relay and that'll activate the relay only when the key's on, sending power to the Anderson plug at the back, meaning you can't drain your starter battery and that'll work a treat for what they need to do. So here we are in this brand new Jayco Silverline Caravan. We've just completed a massive power system underneath the bed here. It's underneath the slide out. I'll show you guys exactly what's gone into the build. It's all custom made. So we've got a um, custom made board all matched to the factory Jayco joinery that's been cut out on the CNC machine. It's sitting on blocks on top. We've got a custom acrylic vent on the front there that'll allow all of the cool air to come in. Another fan back here to blow the hot air out. Some of the components that have gone underneath the bed so these guys have got 600 amp hours of Victron lithium battery and a three KVA inverter as well. So with that, they'll be able to run things like their air conditioner up and their microwave at the same time. Be able to use things like coffee machine, washing machine, the dryer, the lot. Basically we've run it all through a safety hub 150 or through MIDI fuses. We've got the isolated Victron DC charger, 30 amps from the vehicle's alternator, 100-50 solar regulator. That's taking the 780 watts that's up on the roof. So almost 800 watts on the roof, we've used six 130 watt Sherby solar panels. As some of you guys might know, these Jayco Silver ones get quite busy on the roof with fridge vents, antennas, DRS vents, that sort of stuff. So we've had to opt to the 130 watt panels instead of 200. We're just able to get a lot more up there. Um, so basically everything's gone underneath the bed here. The slide out can still slide in and out with no worries at all. And then a Perspex cover over the top of those batteries so that nothing can touch those battery terminals. And then just a little finish touch there um, that we've engraved into the acrylic there. So it's a full Victron smart system. Um, heaps of capability for these guys. They'll be able to go away for just about as long as they want to um, with plenty of solar on the roof. So. That's pretty much everything that's gone underneath the bed here. All this Victron equipment is completely com compatible with the original projected battery management system. We haven't had to touch any of that. So it all works with the factory Jayco Electrics. Basically, we've put a few screens. We've got our own multi-control that controls the inverter and a BMV battery monitor as well. So I'll show you guys that and I'll show you the brand new Altec UEC satellite system that we've fitted to the van too. G'day guys, Craig here. Did you know that Solar and Sat have been installing satellite TV here for over 15 years? So if you need a quality install, why would you go anywhere else? Give us a call here in Bundaberg and book your install today. So what we've mounted to this roof is the 85 centimetre Altec UEC automatic satellite dish. That's gone in the back far corner there where there's plenty of support on the roof. And basically we've, we've um, run a few cables down to two VAST boxes. So that's two Altec VAST boxes. The customers have requested to watch TV in three different spots. So you can watch television in the bedroom, you can watch a different channel in the lounge room, and you can also watch television outside if you want to as well. So basically we've got the control screen just here. That's how you put the dish up and down. We've got a TV eye there. Because the vast box is mounted in a cupboard, you don't want to have to point the remote at that, so you can point it straight at the TV eye. And then we've run a HDMI lead out the back that just plugs into the television. The vast box is just down here, mounted to the wall, nice and neat, tidy out of the road. You can still store stuff down there. So the customers are able to watch a different channel in the bedroom to what they can watch in the lounge room. Happy wife, happy life. So I'll show you guys exactly what we've put in over here. We try and keep everything looking as factory as possible. Up here we've mounted a multi-control. That's how you control your AC input to your inverter. You've got the BMV battery monitor as well. So that's telling us we've got 60% of battery left and we've got 300 watts of solar coming in. We've also got a system switch just up there in case they want to isolate the entire system when it goes into storage. So that's all nice and factory, nice and neat. All still lip it. Um, monitor up there works fine for your tank sensors and everything and then we've got another vast box down here for this television so like I said the customer can watch a different channel in the lounge room to what they're watching in the bedroom so that's all just runs through a HDMI lead 
Put your two remotes there. So that's pretty much the entire inside. I'll show you the external hatch that we've done on the outside and that's it. So we've also run a cable to their outside entertainment hatch so they can still watch television while they're sitting outside underneath the awning. I'll show you how we've done that. We've got another TVI that runs off that original VAS box inside. And then we've also got some AV leads that come out of that other VAS box. Basically plug that straight into your television, power your television up and away you go. So there you go guys, these customers have got the full solar and sat experience. I'm sure they're going to be pretty stoked with how this has turned out. If you have something similar, come and see the team down at Solar and Sat Bundaberg. Thank you.